Hey Sam fam, uh, this is kind of just like a little update video. Hold on, update video. I just have like four things, uh, kind of update people out. So first update, as you saw in the title, I broke my hand um, a week for, ago from today, so that was August 30th. It's been broken again. Um, so that's the first thing I guess, and then I'll kind of tell the story about that. Second thing, what they're gonna do to me, and then third what's moving on kind of in the future with um videos and this videos coming out this semester of my second year here at uva so this video might be kind of rough because i broke my right hand my dominant hand so i can't really edit or do a whole lot with my left hand so it's gonna be cut together um we'll get more into that later so uh the first thing how i crashed so i was commuting i was riding my bike to my athletic training room actually I was going down this big hill when his bee flew in between my eye and my sunglasses. And I kind of freaked out and I totally wiped out. Um, I was probably going 25 miles an hour, which isn't crazy fast, but I landed on asphalt and slid a bit and crashed into like a curb and then into some bushes. I hit the asphalt path and curb, slid into curb, slid into bushes, breaking my hand along the way. Um, so after that, here's a little, um, here's a dramatic portrayal of that. Um, this isn't my, my footage obviously, but pretty much exactly what happened as you're seeing right now. Um, anyway, after that, I called my trainer, walked the rest of the way to the training room, which wasn't very far. They cleaned me up and went to the hand clinic. Um, they put a temporary splint on me and then I got this splint, which I'm wearing still. Um, I'll show some images, I guess, of kind of wounds you can see now, um, hold on, it's trying, no, don't like my face, there we go, uh, palms are messed up, and then back of my hand, uh, I've got a spot on my shoulder, I'll show some pictures, so if you're a little queasy, skip to this many seconds, I don't know how long it'll take me to, this many seconds, um, so, if you look what I'm circling, this is my broken hand. Um, I broke one bone down here, the scaphoid, one bone in here, the capitate, and then one up here. The um, hamate, which I did some pretty good damage to, you'll get to see it in the x-ray. And I had scrapes up on my arm, um, my fingers here. Um, here's my elbow. Nice and skinned up. I can't see that still. Uh, it's covered in band-aids, but um, it's, I can't really rotate my arm with this uh, uh, splint on. Here are my knees. This is The one on the right is really nice now. Um, this one is still pretty messed up. Um, my left knee, and it, makes it, kind of, it made it hard for me to walk for a long time. It's been a week now, so it's not as bad. Uh, let's see what's next. Here's my left shoulder. That's kind of just scabbed over. Um, lower back got scab, skinless underwear picture. Uh, here's a real travesty is next. I totally smashed my watch up. Uh, this is definitely not waterproof. Garmin people, if you want to be an awesome company, um, maybe let me replace it. That'd be awesome. Anyway, the next, this is my hand. That moves on to two, what they're going to do to me Saturday. Saturday I'm getting surgery. Uh, I have to go in, check in at 8 a.m. My mom's coming back down so she can be with me. Um, they were just here this weekend and then this chance they were gonna come down and visit me because it was Labor Day. They didn't have school on Monday. Um, and then they got ended up taking care of me. <laughs> so that was great. Um, mom's coming back down and we are going to go to surgery and they're gonna have to do a lot of work. So we'll look back this X-ray and I'll kind of show you. So. This is like if you're looking at the top of my hand, so my thumb would be over here. I'm gonna be out here, but it's a CAT scan, so it's sliced through and we can't see it right now. Um, so this is the scaphoid. You can see the crack runs all the way through here. Um, this bone gets very little blood flow, and that makes it really hard for it to heal. Um, if I had cracked it down here, there'd be a 50% uh, chance that my, it didn't actually heal properly. It's about only 15 here. So that's good. So we're going to put two screws through me there. This is the um, uh, capitate. 
You can kind of see here um, the CAT scan, you can't see it all at once. It is cracked all the way through there, only one screw needs to go there. It gets better blood flow, shouldn't be any problems there. And then here we can see my, this is the HAM-8. And I completely shattered this, you can see cracks here, through here, here, and here. So because of that, they cannot put screws in it because screws will not hold. So look back on the camera here. They're gonna have to put, um, they're gonna pin these two together. They're gonna put metal pins through these, these fingers, um, and so that they're pulled up, they're pulled up and away from the handmate, so that it has room to heal on its own. So after two weeks, they'll remove those, and then I get put in a t permanent cast for a month and a half. I'm gonna be in something like this for two more weeks. They pull the pins out, and I'm in a permanent cast. So that's what happened to me. Um, uh, unfortunate uh, circumstances, but it's okay. The third point, what's happening? I guess after the surgery, uh, I have to take two months no running because of that scaphoid is really hard to heal. That sucks, but you know you gotta take care of what you gotta take care of. Um, I cannot write, so I've had to go through the Student Disability Center to get no taking help. Um, like exam um, and assignment like help kind of um, like adjust due dates and such like that um, and then I also have dictation software on my computer which helped me type some stuff but I learned you can't speak to it in Spanish which stinks because uh, I'm in Spanish class and has no idea what you're saying also it doesn't know when I say atom thinks I'm saying atom so it's a little could use a little work Apple you can get on that uh, all in all, sucks. Uh, most of the semester, you know, I'll be out with this. Oh, hopefully, shortly after I have the pins out of my pinky and ring finger, um, I'll be able to move my fingers and maybe even write again. Uh, so writing and typing should be easier. And playing video games, <laughs> that sucks. Um, and then also video-wise, like I said, um, I'm not can't do much editing right now. So I'll try and work on that. We'll see what I can do this weekend with one hand. Um, and before my surgery, and that might go up as well, um, maybe next week, so we have a little a week space in between videos, so, that's what's going on with me, uh, you know, wish me a speedy recovery, if you have any connections to NASA and they have any robotic hands lying around, tell them I'll voluntarily chop my hand off that's broken and replace it with a bionic hand, well, if it gives me, like, super strength and stuff, and you can also function normally. So that's that. Stay lit, Sam Fam. Stay in school, even though it sucks. And I'll see you in the next video.